In this video, I'm going to show you how to create characters in PolyBuzz, formerly known as PolyAI. So this is actually quite simple. First, you want to open up the app and then create an account. And once you've done this, you want to click on the plus button, which is at the bottom middle of your screen. So just click on that plus button. And as you can see from here, you can then select a character type. You can select regular, you can have Marvel Universe, Demon Slayer, BTS, Jujutsu Kaisen, or Winter Storyscape. And if you click more, you'll be able to see a bunch more over here, as well as different icons, adventures, etc. Okay? So if you go out here and let's say we're gonna create a regular character, you wanna tap regular. And from here, you have to give it a few things. The first one is the reference image, so you can generate avatar based on uploaded facial reference image, okay? So as you can see, what that means is you have to essentially upload an image for your avatar or for your character to have. Now, you also have to give it a description, so it's going to be either male, female, or non-binary, and then you can optionally, of course, give it some description. So I'm going to press optimize over here, and it's going to do it for myself, and it's going to be a male. There we go. And now, as you can see, you can choose an image style. You can choose up to three different styles. So I'm just going to do this one, let's say photography, and then I'm going to click on more. And from here, I'm going to do, uh, let's say cyberpunk and then film. Okay. And then you can save this. And of course you can press generate over here where it says eight out of eight down below. You want to press generate. And just like this, as you can see, it's going to start creating your character. Now, this usually takes a few seconds. It's usually quite quick. And then once that's done, you can press next. And then from here, as you can see, when you've created your avatar, you can then name your character. So I'm going to name it, let's say instant, because this is the name of our channel. Gender is selected. You can put in an intro. So let's say uh, this intro is publicly seen. So intro is what you can first see when you essentially talk with the character. So let's say, hey, uh, I make tutorials. Tutorials, there we go. Now that's it. And then you have a greeting. So for example, greeting is going to be what's up or something like that. What's up? There we go. And then you have the permission. So we can set it to either private or public. So if you want it to be public, make it public private, make it private. I'm going to do private for this one. And then tags have to be irrelevant tags for your character. You can just use a few you want. So for example, I'm going to do movies, TV, text game. And then I'm going to do, let's say YouTuber personality is going to be, uh, let's say gentle, or let's do energetic. And then you will have to select a story. We're going to do adventure. And that's pretty much it. So you then have to press save. There we go. And then the background, you can describe all the background you want. So let's say he makes tutorials. There we go. Quite boring, but you get the point. And then the dialogue style has to be defined as well. Of course, you have to add in a dialogue style you would like to have and then press save. Okay. Now, after you've done all this, you have to put in every single, um, essentially every single thing that's over here. So as you can see, whatever is um, necessary, you have to put that in. Okay. Now avatar, you can view the avatar up top, which it generated. So looks pretty cool. I'm going to select this one over here. The first one, I'm going to press pick. And in a second, there we go. It picked it. There we go. We're just going to leave it as that save and next. Okay. So we have the avatar, we have the name, gender, intro, greeting, permission, and then we have the tags, background, and then we just need the dialogue style, and you have to confirm your character does not infringe on the image, intellectual property, or any other rights. So type in the dialogue style, and then after that, press save, and you can simply click save and next. And from here, you can just give it a voice, okay? So let's say we want a, um, let's say we want a humorous man, and then you want to click save and next. And then once you click on that, as you can see, you can press create and chat if you're happy with what you're seeing. And that's pretty much it. You've successfully created your character. Now, I don't think you can see this on my screen right now. There we go. I just refreshed it because it's private. And then you can just talk to it however you want and you can access it wherever you have it over here in your profile down below under characters. You can see it over here and you can access it via clicking on it. Okay. So. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.